Hi everyone, my name is Elo. I'm an electronic engineering student here at HKU, and I'm here to share my experience on the Innovation Academy Japan Study Tour. Over the course of four action packed days, we explored cutting edge robotics labs, met brilliant researchers, and even got hands on with some of the most advanced technology in the world. Let's dive in! After day one, which was all about getting from Hong Kong to Sendai, day two was all about Tohoku University. We visited two incredible labs there. First up was Professor Satoshi Tadokoro's Human Robot Informatics Laboratory. This lab focuses on disaster response robotics, and we saw some amazing innovations, like a flying snake like fire extinguisher robot, robots that climb stairs and open doors, and even backpacks for search and rescue dogs fitted with cameras and trackers. But what they wanted to impress upon us most was the iterative nature of engineering. The omnidirectional treads they use for their search and rescue robots, as well as their fire and cut proof omni grippers, went through multiple designs, each improving from the one before it. After a short lunch break in one of the campus's canteens, we visited Professor Yasuhisa Hirata's Smart Robots Design Lab. Some of the highlights included a fall protection system, smart home systems that rely on pose detection, and a cuddly pet robot called Lovot. These projects are part of the Japanese government's Moonshot Research and Development Program. More specifically, its third goal of the co evolution of AI and robots. This lab, among many others, hopes to solve difficult societal issues while bringing together the wisdom of researchers from all over the world. Day 3 took us to the University of Tokyo, where we visited two more labs. At Professor K. Okada's JSK Laboratory, we saw humanoid robots, drones that self assemble, and even a kangaroo robot. Later, we visited Professor Kanako Harada's lab, which focuses on surgical robots. We even got to operate some of the robots ourselves. It was a surreal experience, and I gained a proper appreciation of the interdisciplinary nature of many of these projects. Professor Harada's lab itself has members from the university's School of Medicine, Department of Mechanical Engineering, and the Department of Bioengineering, each playing a crucial part in developing these cutting-edge surgical robots. On our final day, we visited Miraikan, Japan's National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation. It was one of the best museums I've ever been to, displaying technological achievements from our past and a glimpse of our future. Afterward, we wrapped up the trip with some shopping and lunch before heading back to Tokyo Station and flying home. This study tour was an incredible experience. I learned so much about engineering, gained inspiration for my future projects, and made unforgettable memories. Thanks for watching, and I hope this inspires you to explore the exciting world of science and innovation.